Okay, so today Aaron and I are headed out. Um, we are still in Pennsylvania. This will be our last week in Pennsylvania, but um, we are leaving this morning to go do a few cool things. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go to Gettysburg mm -hmm. uh, Battlefield and see that. And then we're also gonna look around for some covered bridges. I read on the internet that there's some cool ones around this area, but I, we actually don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to find them. So stay tuned if I find any. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see that. And then yesterday was really fun. We went to Washington DC um, because we saw my friend Madeline and her boyfriend Barrett. They, um, he works there, he's interning there right now. And yeah, so we saw them and hung out with them. That was super fun. We'll show some pics right here. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the game plan for today. Uh, we'll see what else we end up doing. But yeah, um, our RV park is like clearing out. There's so oh. many RVs leaving today. It's crazy. So yeah, mm -hmm. anything? No, I had really fun yesterday uh, with Madeline and Barrett, and I'm really it's looking. Fun. I'm really looking forward to Gettysburg. Um, again, huge history nerd over here. So all, all mm -hmm. this, all this area, and even being in DC a lot uh, yesterday was I was geeking out for sure. Yeah, we saw some cool historical DC things, um, but it was also just good to see friends oh, that we yeah. haven't seen in so long since we're traveling. It's hard to see friends, but yeah, so it was nice to see friends. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's go. Guys, we are here. We're at <clears throat> the visitor center. So we're just driving in and we'll find parking and everything. And we'll walk into the visitor center and yeah, go from there. <laughs> are you excited? I am freaking out right now. Aaron's so excited. I need to calm myself. <laughs> I I just love history. Like I'm such a history nerd, it's not even funny. He's very excited. Hey guys, we are here, we are parked. I just wanted to show you guys the map um, because when you arrive, there's like a bunch of different parking lots and it's kind of confusing, but it seems like they're all like surrounding yeah. the visitor center because the visitor center is apparently at the center of the battlefields. And so you can see all the battlefields. So the parking lots are like around that, we think. So like here on the map, like these are all the battlefields, like all this. And then the visitor center is like right there or something right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So. All right, we figured it out. So we parked here in parking lot three. And like Ginny was saying earlier, um, all these parking lots surround the visitor center. So no matter what parking lot you go into, um, you can walk to the visitor center. Um, and also you can even bring your RV here and park here. So yeah, there cool. was an RV bus. It looked pretty big too. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of like hiking trails. Um, there's a, a lot of different other like, not just the battlefield, but like the house where Lincoln stayed, President Eisenhower's um, retirement home. So there's not actually going to be a lot of cool things to see here. And yeah. I'm excited. Really? Yeah. We're actually getting here in the afternoon. Usually we like to get places in the morning, but we're just tired this morning so we didn't get up and we didn't know really what to expect so we weren't like planning for a whole day yeah. but obviously you could definitely spend a whole day here clearly
Okay guys, so we just went through the visitor center and it was like visitor center museum. Mm -hmm. So basically you go in and you watch this like 20 minute film and then you go to this huge room that is like, a, it's like this huge like circular room and it's like a painting of the battle that um, a painter painted like two years after the battle. And so it got like input from the veterans of the battle. Um, but anyways, so we did that and then now you can drive around to see all the actual like different spots. I don't even know what yeah. it, we don't even know what it is. We have a map though. Um, but yeah, and or you can do like guided tours or any, something like that, but we're just gonna drive around ourselves. But that was like easily the oh. coolest museum I've ever been to. Yeah, I honestly experience. sometimes can get bored in museums and I like to just hit the high points, but the way that they like presented the information with like the video and the painting, it was just very cool and like really made you feel like you were there. Yeah. It was really cool. It wasn't just like a museum where you just like walk around and read stuff. It was so cool. And then also they had like thousands the, of artifacts that yeah. they found here, like thousands, which was so neat. With, and so it's like real stuff, like and like yeah, they had like the hat it wasn't of the like, general from the yeah. union. Like that hat literally was on the battlefield when it yeah. was happening. Like it was crazy. so cool. This is probably my favorite like national park. This is a national park, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably my favorite national park slash historical site that I've been to so far on our travels. Yeah. Right? And there's that, like Jenny said earlier, that guided tour, which they like take you in a personal car. Like you have a guide in, in a car and mm -hmm. drive everywhere, which would be such Or they have buses experience. or you can do it on your own. You can bike it or whatever. But so yeah, now we're going to go over to a few other things maybe to the cemetery, to the field hospital, maybe. And we're just going to drive around to all the battle sites. And I don't know what else, whatever yeah. is in this map. So, ready? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, guys, so this is the map, the driving map. As you can see, all those red lines, this is like, um, it has one through 14 or 16, I think. Yeah, one through 16 and each spot is a spot in the battle. So like they the battle started here and then it moved all the way down. So, yeah. So that's what we're doing right now is just driving through everything. This is 100% one of those places that you have to spend multiple days. Absolutely. For sure. Because a lot of the spots, it looks like you get out and you walk away and you go see it. And then you get back in your car and you drive to the next one and then so on and so forth. So, yeah. Okay, so this is one of the battlefields that they fought on. Yeah, this was, this area was the first engagement between the cavalry, uh, the Union cavalry and the front line skirmishes of the Confederates. It's what like started the whole thing. Um, yeah, this isn't the first spot, the first part of the battle. Started at 8 a.m. McPherson's Ridge.
this has to be the coolest national park we have visited yet. But the way they've laid it out with all the different monuments to the different like brigades and stuff that's fought here, it just really gives a picture of what the happened at the battle. And like on each of the stone like monuments, it says like the time that these these regiments were here, what they were doing, what was happening here, and then they have like multiple different like cannons and stuff showing like where the artillery power was coming from. They've just done a really great job of making this national park like really fun and interactive. Um, we were noticing, or when we drove by one of the audio tour stops, or auto tour stops, that you can buy an audio tour that like talks about all the different spots. It's like two hours long. They said it was it's like- It's like as you're driving, you listen to it. Yeah, and it would be so cool. We've just said, we have to come back here and we have to dedicate, I feel like multiple different days to just this park alone. Um, really, really cool. Um, Gettysburg, I think, is probably up at the top now for me of the coolest things we've seen um, on this trip. at the top of Culp's Hill right now on the observation tower and just wanted to kind of give you guys this view of the whole entire battlefield of Gettysburg. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Um, it's pretty cool to be in the actual locations of history stuff. Um, this observation tower, it kind of points to the west and the north talking about the battle that happened over here and then on this side is the south and the west version and again we'll point out kind of what happened at each location um, because so it really gives you a good overview of where everything is um, there's a couple different observation towers throughout the whole entire battlefield uh, this is the first one we've really stopped at uh, to kind of climb up and see um, and you get a really really good view of the whole battlefield so i definitely would recommend stopping at the observation towers underestimated how much time you could spend here yes I thought it was gonna be like a one site type thing but this thing is massive like miles and miles long so cool so much rich history yeah. but I would definitely say if you're gonna come here first of all it's totally worth it it's super super cool yeah. um, but if you're gonna come here you need to come like over a weekend and like have a few days here so you can like take your time, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, we totally underestimated how long it was gonna take, but we got to see most of like the yeah. big stuff. Um, but yeah, now it's towards the end of the day, so we're probably not gonna go see covered bridges today. We'll save that for another day. And we're just gonna head home back to our little town we're staying in, in Lancaster. Um, and yeah. That takes like an hour and a half to get home, so we're gonna head home and we'll see you guys soon. Hello everyone. So today, Aaron and I are going to see the covered bridges that we didn't get to see when we went to Gettysburg. We just were enjoying our time so much at Gettysburg that we decided to nix the covered bridges and do them another day. So we're doing them today and it's actually our last Hoorah! Mm -hmm. Here in Pennsylvania. We've had so much fun. Yeah, thoroughly surprised. I've loved Pennsylvania. Definitely been a really great location. Yeah, been here for three weeks. It's been super fun, but yeah, 
this is our last thing we're gonna do because tomorrow we're leaving bright and early for a new location that we will be at for another three weeks. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go see these covered bridges and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna prep all our stuff for tomorrow, put all our outdoor stuff away, dump all our tanks, all that stuff and get to bed early so we can get up at the crack of dawn. So yeah. Okay, we're getting up to our first bridge. This bridge is called the Kurtz Mill Covered Bridge and it was made, built in 1876. There it is. Should we drive through it? I don't, I think so. How cool. Whoa. This is so neat. This is awesome. Wow. Okay, that is pretty cool. That was so fun. We'll pull in. First covered bridge. so peaceful. Is that what you thought it was going to be? Yeah, it's so pretty. Like the camera and the pictures I'm taking aren't doing it justice. Like it's actually really big. Yeah, it's actually, it's huge. And it just looks so pretty and like archaic kind of, you know? That's a good word. Archaic. Yeah, fun. I, I'm going to go underneath kind of show what it looks like because it's all like hand it looks handcrafted right yeah I'm, i don't know it was made in 1876. Uh, that's pretty handcrafted but yeah you want to film me walking up to some design wall oh gosh and you're in sandals too i know and I yeah we could take the, uh, the path up if you wanted Let's hope I don't fall. Oh. Oh no, my shoe. <laughs> I, slipped, I slipped out of my shoe. <laughs> Here I was making fun of you for going it up in sandals. I had a blowout. I had a blowout. We're on to the next one. The next one is called Hunsecker's, Hunsecker's Mill Covered Bridge. And my fun fact about this one, and it is non-painted, so a lot of them are painted red. This one's non-painted, so it's just gonna be like the wood. And it was built in 1843. Wow. And then it broke during the um, one of the hurricanes destroyed it, and so it was rebuilt in the 1970s. But it was originally built in 1843. so cool there was nowhere to stop so we didn't stop um it said that online that not all of the places will have like a pullover spot to see them up close so but that's okay but yeah that one was really cool that was awesome yeah all these homes. houses are beautiful too yeah, okay this next one that we're going to is called keller's mill covered bridge and it was a built in 1873 and it is the only white covered bridge oh. in the area so yeah Aaron's making a friend. Car pulled over and started talking to him. He makes friends everywhere. What can you do? 
What do you say? Tell me where another bridge was. <gasps> oh, so which one? Take a left. And then my first right. Or was it take a right, then take a left? Uh, we'll figure it out. What was it called? He didn't tell me the name. He just said there was another covered bridge. Oh, fun. Because I looked up the next one, and it's like 10, 15 minutes away, but the one he was saying was close. So oh, cute. Let's go. Gotta, gotta talk to the locals. Okay, guys. Here's the one that our friend told Aaron about that stopped and <laughs> talked to us. This is cool. This one's tall. How beautiful. Thank you, friend. Oh, it talks about it. Oh. Herbs Bridge. Herbs Bridge. Don't know anything about that one because we didn't look it up. But yeah, so fun. Okay, so we are headed to Bitzer's Mill Covered Bridge, which was built in 1846, and it's the oldest bridge. Oh, really? Yeah, in this area. The Hun Hinsecker's one, the one that was the wooden non-painted one, that one was actually made in 1843, but since it was destroyed and rebuilt in the 1970s, it's not the oldest one anymore. But this one's the oldest, like, long-standing one. So, yeah, 1846. We're about to come up on it right now. That's so cool. This is the oldest one. That's crazy, it's been around this long. Yeah. It's so cool. How pretty. I don't see anywhere to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're about to go over our next bridge. Let's see, this is our one, two, three, four, sixth bridge. And it is called Weaver's Mill and it was built in 1860, wait. 1878. Hmm. Here she is. Standing at nine foot six inches tall. No bridge. And no bridge. Okay. The next bridge, covered bridge, that we are going to is called Pool Forge Covered Bridge, and it was built in 1859, which is one of the older ones. Um, and my fun fact about it is that President Buchanan met his um, fiance there. What? On the bridge. No. Yeah. That's that cool. cool. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I did not know that. I knew you would like that fun fact. You know me, I love me some good history fun facts. Oh, cool, there it is. Yay! This is cool. I'm glad we did this. Me too. And did you say that there are a lot more in PA or? or? Yeah, there's like, a, there's like 20 something. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's look at it from the side. This one's cute, it has little picnic benches. Oh, it's so cute. It's, the videos don't do it justice. It is really, really pretty.
Okay guys, so we are done seeing the bridges. It's getting a little late and we want to get back so we can pack up all our stuff to leave tomorrow. But we went to this little grocery store just to get a few things like some water bottles for the car tomorrow so we can refill our Yetis. And then we got some chicken salad that I can make sandwiches with tonight so that we can have those in the car tomorrow. We got some little gluten-free banana bread. That was cute. And then we got some gelato for right now. So we're gonna head home after we have a few more bites of our gelato. Hey guys, okay, we just got back from our final adventures here in Pennsylvania. It's been so much fun. It's We've been a lot of fun. Pennsylvania, it was great. Um, but yeah, we're excited to move on to the next place. So we are gonna pack everything up and get to bed early so that we can head to the new place tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow all the things on YouTube, um, Instagram, mm -hmm. and Facebook, Midkiff Memories. But yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye, y'all. Thank you.